Well, Superintendent Gaines, uh, what a pleasure to sit down with you at this busy time of the year when the school is starting up, but uh, we'd be very curious to hear what you just were talking to me about, your plans for the future, and once get over this financial hurdle uh, that you didn't create. But uh, then what you can do with this Southern Kern Unified School District. Well, I do have some some thoughts in mind uh, at this point in time. I guess I'd have to call them mere thoughts, but uh, obviously first thing that I want to accomplish is to become fiscally solvent and to be able to uh, repay uh, Kern County any debt that we, that we might have so that we can um, make sure that we have some reserve and that we can put ourselves back on solid ground and then move forward. But I know for a fact that in 2020, 2021, we are going to grow. Uh, we have new homes going in, we have apartment buildings going in. And so what I would love to do, uh, if given the opportunity, is to um, create a dual immersion school start with kindergarten students and uh, where they learn uh, probably be Spanish 50-50, uh, 50% 50, 50 of the instruction would be in Spanish, 50% would be in English mm -hmm. and these, these children would be like um, in a cohort if you will that they would travel from kindergarten on to first, on to second, on to third, on to fourth um, uh, to the point where they would get a, a seal of biliteracy. And would this be open to uh, uh, Anglo oh, students? It, oh, it would be open to uh, whoever Caucasian, African American, of course. Wow! Not just uh, students with uh, uh, Latino or Hispanic students, but we would want to make it equitable for all all children in Southern Kern. How fascinating! Who, who have that desire or their parents have that desire for them to become sure you know biliterate and want to learn a different culture yes and so that would that would be um that would be something i would uh, like to think about doing in the you know of course with board support or and i'd also like to uh, i believe that uh, one of the things that attracted me most to southern current in this position was when i read the vision of the district it talks uh, about addressing the needs of the whole child. Mm -hmm. And when we, when we talk about that, that means that we're providing children with uh, choice, you know, really, really um, uh, providing them opportunities to pursue the arts, uh, social, their social emotional needs. Sure. And so I, I would like to also maybe create a STEAM school science, technology, engineering, arts, and math, where the children, we, we're so close to Edwards Air Force Base, and not to work with them or get some support from them. And, and when I say support, I'm not talking necessarily financial support, but the support of the, the, um, the outstanding engineers that are there, and just to have them come and work with the kids in different programs, whether it's robotics or aeronautics or whatever, um, whatever different avenue we could we decide to go, but I would love to see us create a STEAM school, maybe a school of choice in Southern Kern, where uh, parents would have the option of putting their child there or not, and uh, so something that would appeal differently to the to the children here, and so those are some of the things that I have in my mind. Um, I think it's fascinating. I, I am thinking back with my ch children and I wish it would have been then because they have gone on and used different languages and they could have got a better start. They all took Spanish in high school, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, a, what a great idea. And I, I'm very impressed with the <clears throat> career technical education programs that we have at Roseman High School. And the fact that we have, uh, it's a uh, Roseman High School early college campus. Mm -hmm. And 
as, as you and I uh, have talked a little bit, I am a board member at Antelope Valley Community College. Mm -hmm. So I would love to be able to put that program, uh, to build that program mm -hmm. and um, get it to the point where many of our high school freshmen coming in the door see the opportunity as I could take college classes and high school classes and finish my high school with an AA degree. Mm -hmm. And so this is another area that I want to focus on as well because, mm -hmm. you know, Sewer mm -hmm. High School, uh, which is located on ABC's campus, uh, the, the students there are very successful and they have there's a high percent of them who do finish high school with an AA degree as well. And so this is what we're doing here at Roseman. Sure. Uh, so I, I want to... Uh, increase that program and encourage more students to take advantage of it mm -hmm. because I think once they realize the cost of a college education and how beneficial being able to take the, the classes right here uh, during the day mm -hmm. is to them. I, I and, and, and how do you find the, uh, the teachers here in Roseman? Are they uh, uh, for that kind of a path for their students? I would imagine they would be. They, uh, I haven't met all of the teachers yet, uh, but I can tell you I've been so impressed with the ones I, I've met. I sat down with the, um, the high school um, leadership team who's preparing for the upcoming WASC visit yes. to Roseman High School. Uh, they're having their WASP visit on October 20th through the 23rd. Sure, and the public and invited to that, right? Yes, absolutely. It's yeah. a Sunday. We want all the community members to come out and support the Roadrunners because, you know, WASC accreditation is, is, is really critical for a high school. Sure. And um, What day in October? It starts Sunday, October 20th. The 20th. And the visiting team will be here for four days okay um, and they love to interview community members and parents and students and of course the teachers and they'll be in every classroom assessing the uh, the um, academic program sure sure and so will that primarily be at the gymnasium at the high school we'll probably have the welcome at the gymnasium Okay. Cafeteria is probably not going to be big enough, so we will use the gymnasium for okay. that event. I'm sure the band will be there, and, and it, it'll be quite uh, quite a, an afternoon program for, uh -huh. for everyone. Uh -huh. But um, the teachers that were there, we had a we met with the the lead, the WASC lead, yeah. who happens to be the principal at Bell High School, and he came up, and I was invited. Um, to sit down with him and the the um, the leadership team of teachers was there. I was so impressed mm. with the way they answered his questions um, and um, the programs that they have there. He himself was very impressed with the uh, with the uh, auto automotive uh, CTE mm -hmm. and also the welding. Really? Oh, he, he, he couldn't stop talking uh, enough about that. So uh, for the most part, I think that we have many, 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 many highly qualified teachers in Southern Kern. And I'm so happy that uh, through, through the trials and the tribulations, they are still here with us. Sure. And uh, we, lost, we lost a few, but I'm, st I'm very pleased that the ones we still have, and they're working very hard out there to make sure our kids um, are learning, and they're learning at high levels of rigor. Well, I know you made uh, Mr. Quelman, the president of the RTA, happy last night. I've never seen him smile so much. <laughs> By getting that contractual stuff all straightened out. And yes, I, I thought unhooked. it was important, and so did Mr. Quellman. It, it was something that uh, happened uh, before I was selected um, as the superintendent here, and it was a, a tentative agreement that had never made it to for board approval. Yeah, and it and it was just sort of lurking, hanging over both of our shoulders, if you will, and. Uh, impeding us from having a, a really collaborative, conducive working environment between sure. Southern Kern and, and the teachers union. And so I was very happy to uh, work with him and getting it settled. And uh, we tweaked it, he tweaked it some, and uh, sure. we're able to get the board to approve it um, last uh -huh. night. 
Uh huh. So. Well, congratulations on that, and uh, I uh, can't wait to get a picture of you with your pom poms at the next <laughs> <laughs> Roadrunner. You have my pom poms. You can see them over there. They're on top of my bookshelf. I, I had the the pleasure of meeting the Rosamond High School cheerleaders. Oh, what a delightful group. <laughs> and uh, they gifted me with pom-poms, who would have known. But I told them, I said, you know, I can't wait to come to the first football game uh, and use my pom-poms to cheer for uh, the Roadrunners. Uh -huh. And so they, they, were, they were pretty happy to, to uh, take a picture with me with my pom-poms. So, yeah. Well, good. Well, the Rosamond News wants to support you any way we can. Thank you. And uh, and our YouTube and our uh, and our <coughs> online newspaper and our print newspaper is always open for articles or suggestions or announcements, and uh, so we want to support your efforts as strongly as we can. Thank you so much. I appreciate, it. and I appreciate you just being at all of the board meetings, and mm -hmm. uh, you know. Uh, that's I appreciate your support. Hello. Well, we get a lot of views uh, now with uh, the YouTube. We get a lot of views, and what's surprising to us is they grow over time. Mm -hmm. Some topic will come up at a, a July or June or May meeting, and then all of a sudden people will want to look at it, and it, the viewership will go from 10 to 100 overnight because some topic was discussed there so that's new media uh, filling a, a, a much needed niche in communicating so yeah and I think it's important to keep um, the parents abreast of everything that's going on uh -huh. you know, as, and to make sure that our district is as transparent as we can be right. so you are helping us do that and I, I really appreciate that because right. you know I think I feel that the uh, even with our website our southern curtain website we need to we're continually working on improving that and making it very user friendly very parent friendly right. so the parents can go there and and uh, find access to exactly what document or what information they need. Sure. And so that's something that... Oh. Yeah, I've looked at it recently, and uh, I think the adding the calendar there mm -hmm. uh, is very helpful mm -hmm. to find out what's happening on mm -hmm. Thursday, what's happening, when's the next football game, is it away or is it home? And uh, so and there's we've improvement. And color-coded it so that, that all of the schools <sighs> Can put their you know their events yeah. on the calendar, and you can just there's a there's a key there that tells the parents what based on the color what school information that is. Yeah, and so yeah. yeah our, our IT department has done a really good job of, uh, of improving the uh, website, and they continue to work on it sure. all the time. Sure, so, sure, yeah, well, sure. good. Work, but thank you very much for the time, and uh, we'll look forward to progress reports. Thank you. Thank uh, you. You're welcome. <laughs>